Hi there, I'm Nicole and I share technology ideas for teachers. In this video, we're going to be using Canva's bulk create feature to mass generate personalized designs. If you're interested in staying up to date with technology ideas in the teaching world, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button to stay updated with the latest. So let's get started. The Canvas Bulk Create feature is available for premium memberships, including Canva Pro and Canva for Education. If you're a K-12 teacher, you're able to access Canva for Education for free. The templates in this video will be available in my Canva Creator account. Feel free to check it out and follow along. The first bulk creation we're going to be doing is student name tags. If you're using one of the templates here, what you need to do is press on the three dots and select Customize this template. To access the bulk creation feature, we'll just need to click apps on the left hand side and we can type bulk create. And once you select bulk create, you'll have just a couple options here. You can choose to enter the data manually, upload CSV or access more data sources. For this first example, we're just going to enter the data manually and here we're just going to select clear table. You can choose to type students names directly here. So let's say the name of the column is just name. Or you can choose to copy from a list. So here I've got a sticky note and I'm just going to also copy these straight into the list. Once you're done, just click on the bottom right. The next step is just to select where you want the students' names to be, which is here. Right click and select connect data. And then we'll select the column name, which is name. Select continue. And here you can see all the different name tags that are going to be created and just click continue. So we've got a bunch of name tags now and you can see them all in one go. If you click on the grid view, you can also choose to just download this as a PDF, PDF print, all pages, and let's download that. Here's what the PDF looks like. Let's try to print. What we can do is we can put a couple of name tags to one page and print them off. The next idea is to use Bulk Create to create labels for your classroom. So here I've got a template that I'm going to customize. Once we have our template, just take a look at the number of characters the word has. So here we've got two, four, six, seven. If you have longer words, such as stationary, you might want to just make the text size smaller so that all the characters will fit. Let's go ahead to bulk create. and add the text. To go to the next row, you just need to click enter. Okay, press done. And again, we'll select the text, right click, connect data, and select the heading that we want. Click continue, check that these are the four pages that you want to generate. And then in a new document, you should have all of the labels created for you. In the same way as before, you can download as a PDF and print them out. In the next example, we're going to be creating question cards for students. This could be challenge cards, it could be trivia cards, game cards, flashcards. So let's take a look at what we have here. So it says solve the equation. Let's go ahead to ChatGPT to create a bunch of different questions for students. The prompt that we could be using, for example, is 10 multi-step equations for year 10. 
to solve for, let's say, x. So all we need to do is just copy this over. Again, we'll take a look at the length of the text because there is one longer equation. You might just want to make the text size a bit smaller, but you can fix this up later if you like. Go ahead to bulk create again. The heading could be equations. Select enter and then we can copy and paste the equations from ChatGPT. Select done. Just before we connect the data source, it's important just to check everything is how you want it to be because it'll generate, in this case, 10 versions of it. So I'm going to just change this to solve the equation for X. The topic is equations. You can add anything you want to the template. And if you're happy, just go ahead and connect the data source and click continue and generate. So here we've got all these question cards for students. And it looks like we haven't got any overflows except for the last one. So you just need to fix it up by making the text a little bit smaller so it all fits together. Again, this is a really quick and nice way to make games for students that you can print out. In our fourth example, we're going to be bulk creating certificates for students. There are a couple of fields here where you can have text. For example, the student's name, the message that they receive, the name of the instructor, and the date in which they completed the achievement. So this is a more complicated example, and we're going to be using a spreadsheet to document all the data. So here we're going to be going to Google Sheets. Let's make this text a little bit larger. And here I've got four different columns. So I've got the name of the student, the message, instructor and date. Um, it's up to you how much detail you want to change. You could, for example, just have the same instructor, in which case you don't actually need to change that field. Once you have all the data, you need to just go to file and download um, as a CSV. Head on back to Canva and go to the bulk create app. Once we are here, instead of entering the data manually, we're going to be uploading the CSV file that we created with Google Sheets. Okay, so then we just need to update all of these fields. Take a look to see whether or not you need to change the size of the person's name. So here we might just wanna make it a little bit smaller so there's no overflow. Right click, connect data. So that will be the name of the student. We will then have a message. So here we're going to connect it to the message, the instructor, right click, connect data, that's the instructor's name. And we're also just going to have the date as well. Okay, so once you're happy with that, click continue and generate all your certificates in one go. So here we've got all the certificates. So Jane Smith, Tony Jones, and again, there's the grid view on the bottom here where you can look at them all at the same time. This is a really quick view that you can use to check if there's any overflow of text and any certificates you need to fix up. Last but not least, the last bulk creation that we're going to be doing is for invitations. So here you might want to do an invitation for a graduation party, just a simple class party, a themed party such as Halloween, Christmas, things like that. And in the same way, we created the name tags as well as the labels. We'll just probably be changing one bit of text. So go ahead to bulk create. And I'm just going to copy all the full names from a sticky note that I've got. And once they're all there, I'm just going to select done, select the field, connect the data source and select continue. So here we've got all the students' names there. You could, of course, have chosen to also change 
some details, for example, who the RSVP is to. Um, in my case, I'm just going to be changing the name. I think small details like this really goes a long way for invitations. Today's templates will be available via my Canva creator link. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you'll be using this feature of Canva. And if you're already using Bold Create, let me know how you're using it so we can all learn from each other. Hit the like button and subscribe button to stay updated with tech teacher ideas. And until next time, happy creations. Bye.